You may remember former ASU Sun Devil tight end Chris Coyle. As it turns out, he also dabbled in rugby during his time in Tempe. And now he has a chance to become the first American to play Australian Super Rugby. That's described as that country and that sports version of the NFL. Having scholarship football players come to our program really upped the profile of our team. And it was national news because, you know, you don't get a lot of Division I football players coming to a, a club rugby team. It just doesn't really happen that often. I was more of a special teams guy. I would be put into certain situations on the offense because with that type of offense we had back then, uh, we didn't really utilize the tight end very much. The first thing that really ever got me interested in rugby um, was my roommate Trevor Cole. Uh, he was a tight end before I was here at ASU. He was in a similar situation to me with not quite as much play time as we wanted on the football field. So we just figured, hey, why not do something in the off season that can keep us in shape? We can have some fun. Uh, we get to we get to run with the ball. You know, you're looking to make a play big hits uh, so it was just something that was really interesting to me. Chris and, and Trevor were both very good athletes and they made a very significant contribution to our team. We had a great season uh, that season and then you know um, Chris had to then go away and focus on football. I immediately started training for the NFL. I was able to go as an undrafted free agent to the Houston Texans. It ended up not working out with the Texans but I had a great time with them, had a great experience. They're an awesome program and it just made me that much better of an athlete. When I was back home in California, uh, just working, uh, I was working at a Dick Sporting Goods um, just to make some money while I was waiting for, you know, hopefully another opportunity at the NFL. When I got a call from Gary about possibly play playing rugby, you know, at first it was just completely out of left field. I said, well, you know, one of the things that I want to just tell you is that I took the liberty of talking about you and showing some tape to uh, one of the coaches down in Australia, for one of the Super 16 teams. Um, called Stephen Larkin, and Stephen is now the head coach of uh, a team called the Brumbies, which is like an NFL franchise, but in rugby terms, down in the Southern Hemisphere. And uh, Stephen said, yeah, I like the guy. Let's get him in and let's start training him. I didn't know how to respond. I, I told him, you know, give me a couple weeks, let me talk to my parents, let me talk to my agent, and see if we can get something figured out. And it ended up just seeming like a great opportunity to basically stay around something, uh, a sport that's uh, pretty comfortable for me to play, something that's similar to football, and I can use a lot from what I have learned in the past playing football. I can take that and put it towards rugby. The next few months for Chris are gonna be really interesting. Um, the Brumbies have invited him down to train with them for, the next, for 12 weeks, and he's going to Australia, leaving uh, probably May the 8th, and he'll be training there and then coming back in the fall and, and doing his masters. He's still got work to do. We figured that it's going to take him probably 18 months to get to the level that he needs to be to, to be a professional rugby player. But, um, you know, as long as he stays injury free, does the work, I, I don't see any reason why that's not going to happen. Hopefully right now the goal is to eventually play professionally in Australia. Uh, whether or not I make it there, that's the standard I want to set for myself. And that's how I want to push myself is to hopefully reach that level. I'm still really new to the sport. I don't know very much about it. Uh, I just try to be an athlete out there, and I know that if I can pick up some of the, this knowledge from these guys, you know, that'll make me that much better and bring me that much closer to hopefully playing uh, professional rugby someday. You know, Coyle undersold his football career just a little bit. He finished top five among ASU tight ends in career catches and receiving yards, was also a two-time All-Pac-12 player. Also, one of the favorite things, one of my favorite things that he said that wasn't in that piece, best part about rugby, he said, compared to football, is that you don't have to wait for a set play to get your hands on the ball. You don't have to wait for Todd Graham to call yeah, you Yeah, or over. those quarterbacks. Yeah. Just go get yeah. it yourself.